Hey guys, MJ here. Welcome back to The Room. So, I believe it's Friday morning. Johnny does not smell, because he uh, he showered last night. So, go downstairs, Johnny. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to take him to work. And I'll see what we need to do from there. No spoons, no spoons. Okay. Past perkies. into the Bank of San Francisco. Just a few more weeks and you should be getting that raise. Go home. Okay. Here we go. Pass perkies again. No spoons. Okay. Hello, Clyde. You remember my friend Shirley Hamilton? She found a new house and needs money for the down payment. I would help her, but I have my own problems. My jerk brother Harold wants me to give him a share of my house. Not to mention, I just found out I definitely have breast cancer. Could you lend her the money? That would be an awkward situation. I expect you, you to be a little more generous. And what is this I hear about you hitting Lisa? I did not hit Lisa. What are you talking about? Lisa told me you got drunk last night and hit her. I did not hit her. I did not. Don't get so worked up. Go cool off on the roof. <laughs> I love the rage meter. <laughs> Denny's place is going to have something new. Yeah, I should have been coming in here all along. Damn it. April 18th, 2003. Chris R. confronted me about the drug money I owe him. If Johnny and Mark hadn't stopped him, I'd be a dead man. Then Lisa and Claudette got all up in my grill about what kind of money. I was like, stop ganging up on me. But these bitches were crazy. Claudette's not my fucking mother. And she needs to stop acting like it. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. What's up? I have a problem with Lisa. She said that I hit her. What? Well, did you? No, it's not true. Don't even ask. What's new with you? Well, I'm just sitting up here thinking, you know? I got a question for you. Yeah? You think girls like to cheat like guys do? What makes you say that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just thinking. I don't have to worry about that because Lisa is loyal to me. Yeah, man. You never know. People are very strange these days. I used to know a girl. She had a dozen guys. One of them found out about it. Beat her up so bad, she ended up at a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Yeah, you can say that again. I'm so happy I have you as my best friend. And I love Lisa so much. Yeah, man. Yeah, you are very lucky. Well, maybe you should have a girl, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I have one already. I don't know yet. Well, what happened? Remember Betty? That's her name? Betty? Yeah. Yeah, we don't see each other anymore. You know, she wasn't any good in bed. She was beautiful, but we had too many arguments. That's too bad. My lease is great when I can get it. Oh man, I just can't figure women out. Sometimes they're just too smart. Sometimes they're flat out stupid. Other times, they're just evil. <laughs> it seems to me that you're the expert, Mark. No, <laughs> definitely not an expert, Johnny. What's bothering you, Mark? Nothing, man. Do you... do you have some secrets? Forget it. Why don't you tell me? Come on. Forget it, dude. Is it some secret? Come on. I'll talk to you later. 
Well, whatever. Hey, Johnny. Oh, hi, Denny. What's wrong with Mark? He's cranky today. <laughs> Girl trouble, I guess. What's new with you? Not much. Still going to the movie tonight. Question mark. Yeah. Oh, sure, we are. What kind of movie are we going to see? Well, we'll see. Denny, don't plan too much. It may not come out right. All right, let's toss the ball around. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. I wasn't good with this in the... Gotta tell you about something. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Yay! Great catch, Johnny. Yay, I threw it right. Shoot, Denny. It's about Lisa. Go on. She's beautiful. She looks great in her red dress. I think I'm in love with her. Go on. I know she doesn't like me because sometimes she's mean to me. But sometimes when I'm around her, I feel like I want to kiss her and tell her that I love her. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just confused. Denny! Don't worry about that. Lisa loves you too, as a person. As a human being. As a friend. You know, people don't have to say it. They can feel it. What do you mean? Oh, we're not tossing the ball anymore. Okay. You can love someone deep inside your heart and there is nothing wrong with it. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live. <laughs> I thought the line was just that the world would be a better place, but okay, whatever. Lisa's your future wife. Denny, don't worry about it. You're a part of our family, and we love you very much. We will we will help you any time, and Lisa loves you too. As a friend. <laughs> you are sort of like her son. You mean you're not upset with me? No, because I trust you, and I trust Lisa. What about Elizabeth, huh? Well, I love her. Mm-hmm. When I graduate from college, get a good job, I want to marry her and have kids with her. That's the idea. You're right. Thanks for paying my tuition. Ka-ching. You're very welcome, Denny, and keep in mind, if you have any problems, talk to me and I will help you. Awesome. Thanks, Johnny. Let's go eat, huh? Come on, let's go. I'm starving. Okay, Denny to coffee shop. Hmm, okay. This wasn't part of the movie. Not that I recall, anyway. The whole talk on the roof was, but not going to the coffee shop with Denny. I don't know why Denny has this weird uh, theme. <gasps> Doc! Need 1.21 gigawatts of caffeine? Sure. Oh my, I'm customer of the year again. Bathroom, bathroom. No spoons, really? Hmm. Hi, Johnny, what can I get for you? Uh, coffee, mint tea, hot chocolate, bottle of water, peanut butter, cup, bagel, cheesecake, never mind. God, uh, coffee? How about you? I'll have the cheesecake. Congratulations, you're our billionth cheesecake served. I knew we could count on you, Denny. So, Denny, how is the cheesecake? It's amazing, Johnny. You should try some. No, thanks. Too late anyway, I just ate it all. Thanks for paying for my cheesecake, Johnny. See ya. I guess I should be getting home now. Well, first, I'm going to explore. I don't need to pee pee or poo poo right now. <laughs> I wee wee out my pee pee. That room is for my Lisa. What? What? Um. I want a bagel. Here you go. Right. I want a peanut butter cup. 
What size is that? Uh, big. Okay. Hot chocolate? Oh, large. Okay. How about some water to wash it all down? Okay. Uh, mint tea? I want large. Okay, yay. Woo! Cheesecake? Woohoo! Okay, that was pointless. Okay, here we go. I'm supposed to go home, right? Yeah. Go around the car. Come on, Johnny. Get it together. Don't worry, you can trust me. Your secret is safe with me. Hello, Michelle. I heard you. What secret? It's between us women. Hi, Johnny. Did you get a new dress? Uh, well, I guess I better be going. I'll just talk to you guys later. Excuse me. Lisa, remember what I told you? What's she talking about? It's girl talk. I just told you that. I never hit you. You shouldn't have any secrets from me. I am your future husband. You sure about that? Maybe I'll change my mind. Don't talk like that. What do you mean? What do you think? Women change their minds all the time. <laughs> you must be kidding, aren't you? Look, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to go upstairs, wash up, and go to bed. How dare you talk to me like that? You should tell me everything. I can't talk right now. Why, Lisa? Why is that? Please, talk to me. Please. You are part of my life. You are everything. I could not go on without you, Lisa. You're scaring me. You're lying. I never hit you. Yes. <laughs> Why are you so hysterical? Do you understand life? Do you? Don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. You drive me crazy. Good night, Johnny. Don't worry about it. I still love you. Good night, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, that was great. <laughs> Yay, Saturday. Johnny's all stinky again. Lisa's not sleeping on her back like she usually is. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Hey Johnny, what's going on? Oh, hi Mike, what's new? Actually Johnny, I've got a little bit of a tragedy on my hands. I don't know why I stuttered like that. Uh-huh. Me and Michelle, we were making out uh, at your place. <laughs> and uh, Lisa and Claudette sort of walked in on us in the middle of it. That's not the end of the story. Go on, I'm listening. Okay, we're going at it, and um, I get out of there as fast as possible. Well, you know, I get my pants, I get my shirt, and I get out of there. And then, about halfway down the stairs, I realize that I have misplaced... I've forgotten something. Mm-hmm. Uh, my underwear. <laughs> So I come back to get it, you know, and I pretend that I need a book. You know, like I'm looking for my book. And I reach in, put the underwear in my pocket, and sort of slide out real quick. Well, Claudette, she saw it sticking out of my pocket. She pulls it out, and she's showing it everybody. 
me underwears. You must be kidding. Underwear. I got the picture. Yeah, I... I don't know what to do. That's life. Uh... Hey, Johnny. Hey, Mike. Oh, hi, Denny. You guys want to play some football? I gotta go see Michelle in a little bit to make out with her. Oh, psh, come on. Come on, Mike. Let's do it. Come on. All right, whatever. Let's go for it. I'm going out. Yeah, sorry you had to see that. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh. Yay! I am terrible at those. Almost as much as I was. Studying, right? Well. Aw, oh, I didn't catch it. What? Bullshit. I don't study like that. He doesn't. Yay! Come on! Oh, for all right. Come on. Hey, Danny. What's up? What's up, Mark? Oh, hi, Mark. What's going on, man? Not too much. What about you guys? He was just telling us about an underwear issue he has. Dude, don't! Underwear? What's that? Dude, it's it's embarrassing, man. I don't want to get into it. Underwear? Man, come on. Oh, God. You okay? Are you alright? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Want to go see a doctor? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm alright. I'm fine. I'm gonna take him home. Mark, why don't you take him home? And Mike, listen, if you need anything, call me anytime, alright? Okay. See you guys. See you guys. <laughs> Let's go home, Denny. This is so very true to the movie, it's painful. Like, these scenes are in the movie, and it, it's just kind of pointless. Thanks for walking me home, Johnny. See ya. I wonder if Jenny's actually gonna be in here. Uh... That is two of six things I wish I could unsee. April 19th, 2003. Johnny and I chilled on the roof and tossed the football around. I told him my feelings about Lisa, and he said she just sees me as a friend. We hit the coffee shop afterwards, and I got the billionth cheesecake. Then we went to the movies and saw the latest Tommy Wiseau flick. <laughs> It was awesome, but I couldn't stop thinking about kissing Lisa someday. Oh, Denny. Oh, okay. Guess I have to go upstairs and shower? He's not my husband. I know, but Johnny is part of our family. Mom, I don't love Johnny anymore. I don't even like him. I had sex with someone else. You can't be serious. You don't understand. Who? Who is it? I don't want to talk about it. 
You don't want to talk about it. Then why did you bring it up in the first place? I don't know. You don't know. If you think I'm tired today, wait till you see me tomorrow. Coming to the party? Sure, I suppose so. How can they say this about me? I don't believe it. I show them. I will record everything. Okay. So now, what I need to do is I need to get a tape recorder. And I think the pug is gonna sell me a tape recorder. Because the pug's awesome. There we go, electronics. Hi, doggy. Meow. That's not what pugs say. Woof, woof. There you go. That's better. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> spoon. Yeah. AI spoon. All right. I have three spoons. Oh, 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 oh. Tape recorder on set. I never know when I may need to record things. Thanks, Johnny. You're my favorite customer. Hi, Johnny. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> woof, woof. Okay, so I have the tape recorder now. Now I go down here, go back home to record all the things. Go around the car. Up here. In here. This right here. I'll record everything. Oh, hi, Peter. Hi, Johnny. I don't understand women. Do you, Peter? What man does? What's the problem? They never say what they mean. And they always play games. Okay, um, what do you mean? I have a serious problem with Lisa. Um... I don't think she's faithful to me. In fact, I know she isn't. Lisa? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I overheard a conversation between Lisa and her mother. What should I do, Peter? This is Lisa we're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what to say. But you are a psychologist. Do you have some advice? It's a complicated situation, Johnny. I mean, you're my friend, and I don't get between you and Lisa. But look, if you want to, you should confront her. I can't confront her. I want to give her a second chance. After all, she's my future. You know what they say, love is blind. Well, you got a lot of faith in Lisa. Sometimes life gets complicated, and the unexpected can happen. When it does, we just gotta deal with it. There's a doorbell. Did you hear the door? Yeah. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. Hey, Peter. We're just talking about women. Women, man. Women just confuse me. <laughs> I have a girl, but she's married. I mean, she's very attractive. It's just, it's driving me crazy. Why didn't you mention this before? Is it anyone I know? Nah, man. You don't know her. Can I meet her? I don't think so. It's an awkward situation. You mean she's too old, or you think I would take her away from you? <laughs> huh? Nah. I have my own problems. Tell me about your problems, Johnny. Peter, you always play psychologist with us. Look, I'm just your friend, and I just, I'm just i just worried about you. Lisa is teasing me about whether we are going to get married or not. And we didn't make love in a while, and I don't know what to do. You never really know. Look, you should tell her about your feelings, okay? You shouldn't hide them. You two have been together forever. You can work out anything as long as you talk about it. Not always. People are people. Sometimes they just can't see their own faults. 
Yeah, I'm thinking of moving to a bigger place, man. I'm making some good money. Look, you should tell her the truth. I mean, you're doing this for your girl, right? You're right, Peter. <laughs> Is she getting a divorce, Mark? You guys are too much. Hey, are you running Bay to Breakers this year? Alright. I am, sure. Nah, I'm not doing that this year. <laughs> chicken, Peter. You're just a little chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Who you calling chicken? I just don't like all the weirdos. There's too many weirdos there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I don't mind. <laughs> Mark, do you remember the one with the big tits? The blonde one? The blondy one? Sorry. No, how about the one with the bridal gown with the sign? Ah, uh, yeah. Can you marry me? <laughs> I thought I would take her up on it. <laughs> I never ate so much. Yeah, the barbecue chicken was delicious. Rice, that was cool. What? <laughs> you guys proved my point. You're both weird. You guys want to play cards? No, we can't. I expect Lisa any minute. Hey, come on, man. Who's the king of the house? Yeah. You guys got to see what she's like before you mar you get married. Speaking of which, how did you meet Lisa? You never told us. Oh, that's a very interesting story. When I moved to San Francisco with two suitcases and I didn't know anyone, I hit the YMCA here with a $2,000 check which I couldn't cash. Why not? Well, because it was an out-of-state bank. Anyway, I was working as a busboy in a hotel and she was sitting drinking her coffee. She was so beautiful, and I say hi to her, and that's how we met. So what's the interesting part? Well, the interesting part is that on our first date, she paid for dinner. What? No tips from your job? Whatever. Do you guys want to eat something? Make sandwiches. Ah, so this is why you can make sandwiches. Okay. I need to make sandwiches for Mark and Peter. Okay. Um... I guess first we do the bread, and I'll put the bread on the plate, and I'm gonna make, here we go, I'll make peanut butter, and I'll put jelly on it, and more bread, and, and, voila! I'm in America now, I can put other things in a sandwich. Okay then, I'm going to put banana in my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and, and then more bread, and, and, there we go. There's a sandwich for Mark. Now I'll make one for Peter. Peter seems like he he wants... Oh, first I need bread. Bread. And then I'm gonna make... Put, put cheese. And, and then I'm gonna slice some meat. Give him meat. And, and, and then I'm gonna put uh, lettuce. And then, whoop. And, and then more bread. I can go tell Mark and Peter their sandwiches are ready. This was not part of the movie. I don't know what the hell this whole sandwich thing is. Where did Peter and Mark go? They had to run. Danny says hi. But I just made them a snack. Apparently they weren't that hungry. <laughs> BTW, I stopped by in the dress shop to check in. Your tux will be ready tomorrow. Oh, great. I am excited to try it on. Good for you, Johnny. Let's go to bed. But, but sandwiches! <sighs> Women, man. Don't appreciate a good sandwich. Come to bed, Johnny. Okay. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Time to pick up my tux. Okay. I'm going to end this episode here. And I think I might actually be able to finish the the movie in the next part. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this 
this uh, abridged version of the room, and I uh, hope you will join me for the next part. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Cupcake Ninja out.